Welcome back once again to Fun Finance. I'm Blair Cook. And I'm Jet Nicholson. Today we are looking at one of your favorite topics, aren't we? Yes, we are. The balance sheet. We use BS as the abbreviated name of that statement, by the way. <laughs> Is the balance sheet the boring statement? Who reads that? Well, hang on there, partner. I would argue that it's probably the most important statement for anyone to understand to really get at understanding accounting. I would argue the income statement is more important than the balance sheet. Well, how about this? Today I'm going to talk about the balance sheet and tomorrow you can present your case for the income statement. Okay. You are so going to regret this. Okay. Show us balance sheet and make your case. Well, I just so happen to have Microsoft's balance sheet on hand and let me just point out a few <laughs> rudimentary things. First, note that the balance sheet always balances. Assets equals liabilities plus equity, the accounting equation we discussed in our last lesson. Assets meaning cash or other types of resources that can be converted to cash and liabilities meaning amounts owed to others. You got it. The balance sheet determines at any given point in time the value of the owner's interest and we call that interest equity. In fact, we could do a little algebra and shift our accounting equation around to show this. Assets minus liabilities equals equity. The balance sheet portrays the financial strength of the business. Strong businesses have a lot of assets that are readily convertible to cash and few obligations to spend it. But the balance sheet doesn't tell us how much cash the business is generating. No, it does not. But without cash or access to cash, a business will cease to exist. But that's where the income statement and the statement of cash flows helps a reader assess how much cash is being generated. But if you don't have cash on the balance sheet, those other statements are, are kind of pointless in my mind. Pointless? I wouldn't go that far. Oh, okay, so perhaps a slight exaggeration, but the real point I want to make is that few people really appreciate the importance of the balance sheet. Let's look at the Microsoft balance sheet and I'll let you make your case. Now I love this balance sheet. I love the cash and the short-term securities of $97 billion. That has would be nice. <laughs> Microsoft has enough cash to do whatever it can imagine. It can send that cash to shareholders. It could buy almost any other business on the planet. It can hire a city full of scientists to tackle any earthly or celestial problem one could imagine. That choice of options comes from having a strong balance sheet. That's pretty cool. Since we both have these fancy Microsoft Surface laptops, I guess we like Microsoft. Anything else this balance sheet tells you? Low debt and a thick layer of shareholders' equity. Not only does this company have cash, but it has a tremendous amount of ability to raise debt if it wanted to. Again, this just makes Microsoft a formidable force in whatever strategic direction it wants to pursue. So I know you brought another balance sheet to show by comparison. This is the balance sheet of Groupon. Now Groupon debuted at $25 a share back in 2012. Now, not even four years later, it's trading at around $2 a share. Mm. How is this an unhealthy balance sheet? Isn't that a billion dollars in cash I see? Yes, it is. But don't let the cash on the balance sheet fool you, as you can also see that the company has nearly $900 million of short-term debt. That's a lot. This is a company that has been really struggling for years to turn itself around since it went public. So this is what a sickly looking balance sheet looks like. What happens when a company has a balance sheet that looks like this? Well, it really reduces the list of strategic options that it has. It's not to suggest that the company can't turn itself around. If the company can find highly profitable niches to serve, it can over time add more assets and pay down liabilities, thereby increasing its equity. I'm only suggesting that this puts the company at a strategic disadvantage to a company like, say, Microsoft, who has a much, much stronger balance sheet. I know when you and I were preparing for this episode, you insisted that we do the balance sheet before the income statement. That's not intuitive, as most people would naturally think of the income statement as being more important. In practice, it varies as to which of these two statements gets presented first, the income statement or the balance sheet. But another reason I put the balance sheet first is to help learners understand the accounting mechanics and how they tie each of the statements together as we discussed in our last lesson. You mean how the income statement and cash flow statements need to tie together? Is that what you mean? Exactly. So the equity balance on the balance sheet can be calculated in one of two ways. Assets minus liabilities equals equity, like we discussed earlier. Yeah, you got it. Or you can take the beginning balance of equity at the beginning of the period and add in your net income. Or subtract your net loss. In the case of Groupon, right. And then add or subtract owner contributions and distributions to calculate the ending net equity. So the bottom line is that your net income is always included in the equity accounts on the balance sheet. You got it, Jen. You're such a geek. I offer it simply as another perspective. I'm only encouraging our audience to think about the balance sheet a little more deeply the next time they see one. And to vote for me, of course. 
Are you done yet? I think it's an open and shut case, but let's see what you present tomorrow. It's only fair to present both sides and we'll let our audience decide which statement and which of us is more important. The balance sheet or the income statement? Well, you know you're going to lose. Me? I never lose. Until tomorrow. How is this? How it? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. How is this is an unhealthy? <laughs> yeah. I'm really challenging you. You are. <laughs>